Bruh, I gotta up the aura. The nigga only chart the nigga. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. It wasn't even a black guy. Oh, we actually got a legit headliner in the house. Da -da -da. He's comedically to me. What I want to do is bomb. Mm. I know that sounds fed up. Yeah. Yeah. Like <laughs> seeing Holtzman was a jolt. He might as well be Brian Joltzman. Nigga, Brian just, Joltzman. There's my I'm off the show now. <laughs> that shit is awful. Brian Joltzman. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah, I think I talked about it last week, but when we landed, I pretty much missed time to booking. Mm -hmm. So I missed my first show back because it was like it was the next day. It was the next day, and yeah. That I that was my uh, cool down period one day mm -hmm. I'm like you know what I will respect my body enough to be like I'm way too tired to go to the show yeah let me reacclimate thankfully I had a booking at the corner this past Thursday uh, and I'm back this Thursday coming Thursday the day after this episode airs on YouTube <laughs> corner comedy club 8 o'clock um, I love that club and for that to be my first show back what what uh and bro it was a Thursday 8 in the summertime in Toronto, so shows are a little lighter. It was sold out, bro. There was like, wow. It was, uh, shout outs to Ant Man, happy birthday. Uh, Joe, the owner of the club, his brother brought a whole crew of people out to sick. celebrate. And he kept saying, he's like, bro, I looked at the lineup. It's you and Norm, bro. I came up for you and Norm. <laughs> so I actually, to me, once he said that, I was like, oh, I got to make sure I fucking give this guy a good show. Uh -huh. Like, it's, it's a homie, bro. You got to, I don't know why. Normally, that wouldn't fucking, but I treated that as, as a challenge, I'm like, okay, let me make this the absolute best fucking yeah. thing. I was going up last, too, so I took all the chances. This is fresh off of seeing Holtzman, bro. This is my first show back. And when I tell you, fucking Derek, man. Love and respect. Thank you for all you do at the club, bro. You know it's all love, but God damn it, nigga. He fucked up on the recording, so I didn't get the uh, recording of that set. I fucking murdered that set, bro. It, and it was, yo, I, I, I'm telling you, like, this is the effect that Holtzman had. I threw all my, um, like, how do I say this? I didn't go with the inhibitions that I normally go on stage with. Yeah. I didn't structure my set. You used the everything same, in bro, the Bro, when I tell belt. you, like, remember when Kanye was on Joe Rogan and he described, like, his brain, like, Mario platforms, just, like, floating clouds? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You jump from... Like, that's probably the best way I can describe how I was seeing all my jokes in my head. I wasn't, I was just, it was as if, okay, let's say there's a bunch of clouds in the sky. Mm -hmm. I'm looking straight, not, not looking at the sky, but all the clouds represent each of my jokes that I want to do. Mm -hmm. There's new ones, there's older ones, but I'm mostly trying to do new shit. I was inspired to come back and just work on new shit, bro. And then the best way I can describe it is that you look up in the sky and you're just looking at like, I'm like, oh, there are all my jokes. And you're kind of just seeing, I'm like, oh, that one, that one, that one. But I'm not too, I'm not too focused on any one. Yeah. I'm like, I don't care about where I place them. All I know is that when I go up on stage, I want to go up singing. Okay. Because like, you know how I do my sing song. You should like I did on yeah. the podcast earlier, that yeah. Black Sinatra shit. I do that all the time. Yes. But it's like. And that's why I'm saying, like, seeing Holtzman was a jolt because I'm already doing these things. And I have to give credit to Jason Rouse. Yeah. Because while we were out there, he also made the emphasis on acting everything out. Yes. Get the whole, like, rinse the fucking towel dry. Get every last drop of that fucking joke. Do you leave so much on the table by not doing an act out or by doing an act out? At 60%, let's say, instead of mm. really committing. Yes. That joke that I was going to do on Kill Tony, one of them. Yes. That I practiced with Jason. You did that one? Bro, I did the whole act out too with yeah. the hat and yeah. all that shit. And it, bro, when I tell you, I messaged Jason. <laughs> I'm like, that joke fucking destroyed. And because I wasn't condensing it to get it a and bunch of other stuff in for a, stuff for a minute. Yeah. I actually drew out the joke. So I combined the minute long version with the other stuff that I cut out that was still good yes. and it enhanced it. I was able to pepper mm. up the joke and it got such an explosion. Dang, I wouldn't want to see that one. Like, and that's why I'm like, <laughs> Derek, nigga, <laughs> shit. <laughs> I was so excited to see that footage. Yeah. I'm like, yo, I got to watch that. You're like, sorry, that the camera wasn't plugged in. <laughs> I'm like, 
But that's how it goes, bro. Yeah, obviously. That's always how it goes. And so I was just like, you know, reflecting on that set and then knowing I had this mic to go to, to or yesterday. Um, shout out to Bambino's, a new rental space on James Street in Hamilton, Ontario. Uh, if you're a Hamilton native or somewhere from around there, then you know this thing called Art Crawl. They pretty much shut down the downtown Main Street uh, the second Friday of every month in the summertime. Uh, it starts a little bit before summer officially. And well, then it goes a little bit into fall. It's year round, but the artists just don't go in the winter time. Wait, it's actually winter too. Yeah, because it's it's not like uh, it's not run by the city. It's just the artists. Yeah, but now they're blocking it off. Now shit. they are, but like it's you still- know what it felt like, Sixth Street. Well, yeah, Art Crawl is almost as big as Super Crawl. So Super Crawl they do annually once Super a year, and that's Crawl- where they book end the streets yes. with like stages. Yes. It's musicians booked. It's a three day thing. The art crawl is like a one day thing mm-hmm. where they now they block off the streets. Yes. Bro, it was straight up like, remember how we saw the people in line for standby tickets at the mothership, like Kill Tony, 1130 in the morning? Yeah. The artists were setting up their vending oh, tables yeah. at 11 Early. in the yeah. morning. You got to get your spot. First well, before you used to be able to show up because they don't block off the streets until five. Yes. But now people are starting to sell shit at 11. Bro, I brought, I bought shit. I got some uh, new no, copper bands some and new, shit. S- some new Fucking, rings. bro, I got to up the aura. The nigger only chat. The nigger. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> like, it wasn't even a black guy. I wanted to say nigger. I got to scale back on my use of that word. Ah, this maybe not. Shut in up, like nigger. Fucking the Mandarin with his 10 rings, dog. Bro, you, I, <laughs> I needed more, but it rained. And then I went back later before the show to uh-huh. walk past all the vendors and stuff and mm-hmm. check out the homies. And most of the people had left because of the rain. It yeah. stopped raining, but I guess you can't be selling copper rings in the rain. <laughs> but it's good copper because it didn't turn my finger green and shit. Mm-hmm. Now just get my aura up. Everybody do your mudras. Sell your fucking ramen noodles. <laughs> I always go back to Naruto. I have no idea what the fuck that shit's about. Oh, he, he just likes to eat noodles. He doesn't sell them. He's not a ramen salesman? No. He's, you know he's like doesn't 12, deliver? right? No, he just eats it. Nerd! Anyways, did you watch Acolyte? <laughs> I didn't actually. I did. Yeah, I'm I'm behind. Nerd. Uh, niggas with aliens. <laughs> I said that wrong, but whatever. That's also correct. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, and then the show of Bambinos. So this this was hilarious to me. I walk into Bambinos and it's a mic, and it's during the art crawl. Yeah. So it's a lot of people that have walked off the street. Plus there was music performance before the comedy show started. Uh, but as soon as I walk in, I walked in a little bit late because I was walking the street and talking to people. Mm-hmm. I knew I had time or I thought I did. Mm-hmm. But they're like, yo, it was kind of light on comics. When you go up, do you want to just do as much time as you want? I'm like, how much time do you want me to do? He's like, how much time do you want to do? I'm yeah. like, just light me then. Yeah. Six hours later. Six, 24 <laughs> hours later. I'm like, yo, we lock- you know I said we locked the doors. Like... It was so funny because, like, the guy that set me up, mm-hmm. the the host, once I showed up and committed to doing a set, he's like, all right, you're going last, da, da, da. you can do as much time as you want. And then as soon as he gets back on the mic after the, the comic gets off, he's like, oh, we actually got a legit headliner in the house, da, da, da. <laughs> he just starts setting me up. And everything, like, comedically to me, what I want to do is bomb. Mm. I know that sounds fucked up. Yeah. But like when you, I'll show you, yeah, I'm like, yo, I'll show you oh, yeah, I'm I'm that good. <laughs> Watch how good I am. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> you don't know, like because this is an open mic. I bro, I walked up on stage and it was like they were applauding. Mm. Ah, it was practically a standing ovation the way he brought me up on stage, and I'm like, this is a nightmare. And then all the people just went, oh, <laughs> 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 oh. I'm like, no, you don't understand. Like, the, what the fuck? The way he just set me up. What if I came up here and bombed? This is an open mic, nigga. Don't fucking. Yeah. This isn't a weekend. How much did you? And then I looked at somebody. I'm like, how much did you pay for these tickets? He's like this. I'm like, exactly. <laughs> now you get what you get, nigga. And there's a white dude. <laughs> and I'm looking at the black people over here. I'm like, you cool with this? Uh, and I did like 30 minutes, like mm-hmm. 25, 30 minutes. Coming off the energy from the last set. Coming off the energy of, Wow. Holtzman just reminded me he might as well be Brian Joltzman. Brian just, Joltzman. There's my I'm off the show now. <laughs> that shit is awful. Brian Joltzman. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I'm off the show. <laughs> And then the interview, and then I went back and watched the interview that we did with him. Mm -hmm. And he's pretty much saying the same thing. It's like, say what exactly is on your mind. Yep. And then watching the interviews, going back in, like doing a deeper dive on this guy and seeing all his podcast interviews. And he's pretty much reiterating the same sentiment, but with new stories and stuff. But the, every appearance is like different, bro. He yep. has such amazing energy. Uh, yeah, that I'm still processing that shit. I want to get a Brian Holtzman thing for the wall. Yeah. Some, he's got to be you represented. Gotta, you got to put up your picture with Holtzman. Oh, wow. That would be fun. You know. <laughs> <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Put it right on the desk here. <laughs> friends of Holtzman. Friends of Holtzman. I was just about to say. <laughs> Do you get the frame and it says friends I will, of Holtzman? I'll frame it, put it right there. Yeah, that, that, like... And salutes Andy Kaufman. Salutes all the people that inspire other people. Mm -hmm. Not even because you're looking to be inspired, just because they're excellent uh, at what they do. That's this week's comedy recap. <laughs> uh, if you're a comedian, go out there and do it. And if you're not a comedian, shut the fuck up! Nobody fucking cares about your shitty-ass fucking opinion about this shit that you don't do. And on this week, this week on Hey... Welcome to Black Zeus's fucking blank world moment. Uh, this week on Stavros and Joe Rogan and Theo Vaughn and fucking all the white guys. That's it for comedy. See you next video, folks. I'm going to go jerk off to Joe Rogan and crew. Fuck you. <laughs> yep. I've had enough to hear with it. I'm sure he's a nice guy. <laughs> Just stay in your lane, my nigga. Go fucking make a Shakespeare channel or some shit. You look like you read. <laughs> That's a diss. <laughs> you look like you read. <laughs> we came back from our trip. I bought a bunch of books. <laughs> Not that I'll read them all. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> so listen to the person that left a comment also feeling my frustration. Can you pull that up real quick? Go to the YouTube comments real quick. We put out a video recently. It's, for, it's a clip from one of the recent episodes where I talk about my issue, just click the bell. No. Oh, I was going to go to the comments. It's, it's too late. We're already here. Yeah, see, now look at what you did. It's right here. Look at what you did, man. It took way too long to get there. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. No, I'm just, oh, look at what you're doing. <laughs> just leave it here. Just leave it here. All right. Uh, Punk Calvin 84. Salutes to Punk Calvin 84. We're throwing up the fingers at fucking Joke World and Podcast Cringe. Although, more power to you. Whatever the fuck. Who cares? I'm hating, but soft hate. You know what I mean? Uh, just stop talking about comedy if you're not going to do it. Go do it, and then I'll respect it. I'm like, you know what? They did it. And post it. And post it, you bitch. And you know what? Last time, I credited Podcast Cringe a little more than Joke World. This time, I'll credit Joke World a little bit. At least this nigga's showing his face. Podcast Cringe. Show your face, you bitch. <laughs> Stop doing comedy shit, bitch. <laughs> so this is Brian Holton. <laughs> <laughs> and salutes to the actual people doing fucking real comedy shit and doing comedy like Johnny. Go check out Johnny's shit. He, we, he did an interview with me not too long ago. Um, Johnny Rogers. The Johnny Rogers show. All right. There we go. We got some hate. We got some love. We got some comments. This is Black Zeus, the podcast season five. I love y'all. Thank you for supporting. Once again, the Patreon is launched. If you do want to watch my comedy special right now, you can do so. It's only 10 bucks and you can get it as part of the subscription fee. So like if you subscribe to the Patreon, you can get it that way or you can just buy it outright for 10 bucks that way. Once again, for transparency, I will release the comedy special for free on the YouTube once we hit a thousand subscribers. So you can also just hit the subscriber uh, button and just do that. You can support that way, whichever way you want to support. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, all that. I don't necessarily use it the way everybody else does, but I'm there if you want to find me. AKA Black Zeus is the person to find on those platforms. <laughs>